Hi, and welcome to this walkthrough of the Bottega support application. At Bottega, we realize that one of the key ingredients of a successful experience in learning development is being able to have answers to your questions and to be able to walk through each of the issues you might run into. Coding is hard, there's no way around that, but with the ecosystem that we've developed with Bottega, we give you the ability to interact with our team of mentors around the world that can help you understand the various issues that you may run into. So before we get started, I wanna show you exactly how you can access this application. If you are on the DevCamp LMS, you have two ways of accessing it. The very first way is if you come up right to the nav bar where it says support, you'll see that if you click on this, it's going to open up the support application. And we'll walk through exactly how to access each one of these elements on the page. That's one way of doing it. The other way is if you're on a guide page and if it's an page that maybe that you have some questions about, you run into a bug, or you simply need to talk with a mentor or instructor, then you can move down to the bottom right hand side of the page to this icon and you can ask a question. So if you click on this, you'll see that it opens up a new ticket page and right here you can start asking questions. So we're going to start with this. So I'm going to say that I'm having an issue with React Router. And then inside of this create ticket box here, this is where you can describe the issue that you're running into. Now, in order to get the very best support and to be able to address your issue, I highly recommend to give as much detail as possible. So you have full markdown support in here, which means you can actually type code and it'll be rendered out as code. So for example, if you have some type of issue related to React Router, you could say, my page isn't redirecting. And then you can write markdown, which means that you can use things like backticks and then write your code. So you could say my function and write out all of the code in between these backticks. And as you go through the material, we'll actually walk you through how you can write in the markdown syntax and you'll have some tutorials on that but for right now i can simply hit create ticket and this is going to put your ticket into the queue and you can click on this and see exactly what you just wrote now you also have the ability as you can see when you clicked on that link on the guide page what that did is it connected the guide to your ticket so if you now click on this link then it'll always take you back to that guide page. So that's a way you can always associate the issue that you had with what material you were going through as you're walking through the curriculum. And also any of the mentors or anyone else looking at this ticket will also be able to see that. So it gives them some nice context. So when you did that, what that did is it added this ticket to the queue. And I'm gonna show you what the mentors page looks like. So I'm going to switch to a different browser and you can see that right here that ticket that we created got added to the queue. So the mentors see all of the new tickets that get created and if I click on this you can see that the mentor can see the guide that you're on and then they can also add responses. So they can say something like let's fix it together. And once they add that response, it'll get added right here. And automatically, without you having to do anything, it is going to, all the responses are going to be added right under the ticket. Now, sometimes a quick response will take care of the issue if it's something that perhaps the mentor has seen before or something like that. But many times we know that we need a little bit more discussion. And so what can happen here is that that the mentor has the ability to then assign themselves to the ticket 
And then from there, they could keep on adding more responses. But one thing that we've seen is that as great as going back and forth with comments are, it usually is a better experience to chat about this in real time. And so what the mentor can do is click Create Chat and this is going to generate a chat dedicated to this ticket. So if I switch back to what account you're going to be seeing, you'll see that you can click on the ticket and you'll also see that this gets moved into your submitted window as well. And you can click on chat session. So you have the ability to click on chat session and now you can go back and forth and communicate with your mentor. So the mentor can start just typing out, let's fix this and look at the code. And then you'll be able to see each one of their responses in real time. Now you also have the ability to add your own code snippets right here. So say that you had some function that simply isn't doing what you wanted it to do. If you click on the code icon here, this will open up a dialog box where you can write more markdown code. So here you can create another function and inside of it, write all of the code that you need using markdown syntax, headings, any kind of styling that you want. Click submit and that is going to generate the syntax highlighted code and you're gonna be able to go back and forth with your mentor until you have the entire issue figured out. Now, once all, everything is done, then what you can do is if you go back the mentor will be able to take your ticket. They will go and they'll see that the ticket is one that has been assigned to them. You notice it's no longer in the queue because it's been assigned to them. And then once everything has been resolved, they can simply click on mark resolved. You also have the ability to do that as well. And then the ticket will get moved into the completed box. So if you, when you're looking at this, if you look at your ticket columns, you can see that you have your queue, which now is completely empty. You have your submitted item. So these are all the ones that you've submitted, including this last ticket. And then you also have your completed tickets. And so these completed tickets are the ones that we just saw right here. And this gives you the ability to always access each one of these guides. If you click the link here, if you wanna see a more in-depth view of this, you always have the ability to access that here. And this gives you the ability to at any time go back and reference any of the communication that you've had regarding issues. Now if you click on the chat window up here, the chat icon, then you have a couple different types of chats. So you have your support group chat. So this is where all of your classrooms or any types of chat rooms that have more than two people are going to be listed out right here. And then you also have direct chats. So this is where you have your direct messages where you can go back and forth with a mentor or another student and you can see all of the back and forth communication that you've had either regarding tickets, issues, features that you're wanting to work on, questions that you have or anything like that. You also have the ability to create a new chat. So you can come down to create new chat and you can say my feature room, whatever you want to call this. And then you can search via email for other users. So I can search for one user and I can go with another one right here and I can add as many as I need to and click create chat room. And this is going to generate a chat room where everyone that you invited will be able to come together, share code and work through issues. Please note if you ever have any inclination to abuse the chat privileges or anything like that, then those can definitely be terminated. So make sure to use it responsibly. So in summary, the best 
best way to use the system is whenever you have a question that is related to a piece of content is to make sure to ask the question specifically on the guide page because what that's going to do is it's going to associate your question with that guide and you're always going to be able to have a reference to that and then from there you can track your ticket as it goes through the queue uh, submitted, assigned, and then completed where you can always reference all of your conversations and everything like that. And then you can always go back and reference any of your chat rooms or direct messages inside of the chat page. So now that you've had that walkthrough, good luck in going through the material.